Alright, what's up everyone? This is the Prelude and Attitude Era series. We are in the midst of the Attitude Era. Alright, now a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, yesterday to be exact, I said every Saturday there should be a new episode every Saturday or Sunday. Well, wasn't able to record. Fucking head, headphones broke. And so I had to wait for new headphones to come in. And my turtle beaches were broken, so I couldn't use those. It's real pain in the ass. And while... I was waiting for, you know, like, no headphones and, you know, waiting for them to come in because I ordered them from Amazon. And I was just bored. So I played the game, and what I did is I screenshotted, like, the very end where it tells you, like, the, the overall show rating and how much you increase your popularity or decrease and so forth. Just for, you know, I think for um, right now, episode 221, up until WrestleMania 17, whatever episode that may be, it's going to be like this, then we'll go back to the old way. This is just for me to be able to play the game more. And I'm already booking SummerSlam. So I'm like six months ahead in the game. And for me to record all that much, it's going to get tedious. It's going to get... I don't want to sound bored when I'm doing it. I want to be energetic and fun and be able to explain everything to you guys. So there's that. And I uh, just want to get that out of the way. So that's why you know I'm on PowerPoint and so forth. Alright, I'm going to pause it for a second, catch my breath, and get, gather. Alright, so on Raw, we're going to start right away. We're going to go to PowerPoint. So, on Raw right away, this is how it's going to be. On pay-per-views, except I think one of them, it's like the match screen. So, it's kind of typical, and it's not like this. It's like for Ucha, the Kurt Angle, ENC, Defeat, Kishi and Two Cole, and the whole thing. Now, Rikishi... Kurt Angle are starting a feud for Kurt Angle's Intercontinental title. Kurt Angle came in Survivor Series and has been, you know, undefeated. And now we're starting that friendship with Edge and Christian. We've been pushing that a little more. Now here, Stone Cold asked Shane where to find Vince McMahon. This leads to Stone Cold beating Shane's ass. You know, that's a big deal because Steve didn't really... I haven't done that much stuff with Steve attacking the McMahons. As much as I should have. Now we're doing Kane and X-Pac versus the Dudley boys. Here Kane defeats Steve on Dudley. The Rock defeats Dilo Brown. We're having Brian Pillman and Chris Jericho. Who are two of the leaders in um, the Royal Rumble. Two of the lead guys should I say. In the Royal Rumble. And we're trying to uh, you know, have them be in contention with one another. Along with The Rock, Rikishi, Kurt. All those guys. After that we go to... Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Right, number seven, we got Raven. Another promo with an Undertake used to strike fear in his foes, but I am not afraid. My flock and I rolled WBF. So, Raven, I hope you guys don't have high hopes. Looking back, I don't know what happened, but it just wasn't right for me. Like, I'm struggling to write his promos, and it's not good. I feel like, I feel like this is, like, not bad as Giant Gonzalez, like this program. But it's just something that gave me time to write off Undertaker, bring him back fresh, and so forth. So please forgive me, Undertaker, if you're watching this. Uh, if uh, you know, I'm sorry to you guys that you know this is a little bit of a flop for Undertaker this year. Here we have Batista cut a promo after you remember he turned on Road Dog, and now last night at the pay per view, I believe it was the last episode. I don't remember these things. He defeat he defeated Road Dog, beat the shit out of him. Road Dog. Like, had to be stretched out of the arena. Landstorm, own heart, the un Americans, own heart feud. Just continuing that. And then, uh, <clears throat> we have JR interview Cactus Jack. That was the last episode. Cactus Jack returned. And his dream is to be the WWF champion in WrestleMania. He wants to main event the big show. Not, you know, oh, should not have said it that way. Excuse me. So, he wants to main event WrestleMania as champion. In order to do that, he needs to beat Triple H, and it doesn't matter who wins the Royal Rumble, because Cactus Jack wants to be in the main event. Now, WrestleMania will not be a four-way. Screw that. That honestly t sucked, and I think it's important to say that now. And then our main event, we have one of my favorite feuds, Eddie Grant and Chris Candido, on two young guys trying to prove themselves. And telling you how I said earlier, I'm around SummerSlam. These two, spectacular year for both of them. And I'm expecting huge things. Um, you know, one of them's a top heel in the company. And that's giving away too much. By top heel, I mean, you know, Triple H, of course, is still a top heel. 
All right, so Nitro, you know, we're going to go over there and look at it. Nitro, I've been noticing, has been booking a lot better. And we're going to notice the next couple months is they sign away a lot of my mid-card talent. And uh, I'll spoil it. They even signed Jerry the King Lawler away from me. So that's just something to look out for. And you see guys pop up. And I'll tell you, like, there's a tag team splitting up. There's a guy who leaves, like a mid-card, upper mid-card guy who leaves. And I think there's a couple more, but one of my tag teams gets split up because of this. But you can guess it in the comments. And then here, on the last, very last Nitro of the year. You know, I hope this caught your eye because it just caught mine. Hollywood Hulk Hogan defeat Ric Flair. 1999, 100 rating. And uh, this is contention for, for match of the year. And that reminds me, the next episode is the end of the year review. Remember, we did that last year. I enjoyed it a lot. Same PowerPoint format. I think the PowerPoint format works better with the end of the year, not, you know, so much as this. And with the PowerPoint format, we are uh, doing, we, I am showing SmackDown. Yeah, just doing that whole week. Here on SmackDown, we have Steph is mad at Stone Cold for attacking Shane. And then, you know, this is backstage. <clears throat> Excuse me, Triple H calms her down. And he books... CJ, is that Chris Jericho? <sighs> no, Cactus Jack, excuse me. Because like, I was like, CJ, because normally CJ, Chris Jericho, but no. And then they also state there's a warrant out for Stone Cold Dressed. Dave Batista versus Mark Henry. Another match where very solid, and you'll notice this match will come up more and more with Dave as a singles competitor. Because good chemistry, two young stars fighting. Once again, Chris Jericho, Brian Pillman trade insults. Now, their insults back and forth would be weird. Like, not weird, but it'd be, you know, Jericho being typical over-the-top Jericho. Brian Pillman being a dick to the fans and Jericho, in a sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Un-Americans, and then they... The Un-Americans declared in the Royal Rumble. And Owen Hart also declares he's in the Royal Rumble. And then, you know, they have that back and forth. We have Crash Holly defeat Al Snow to retain the hardcore title. I don't mean to be, like, you know, reciting this shit word for word, but... You know, it is what it is. We have the Marvelous Ones promo about the Hardy Boys. Now, if you remember, Lita was taken out. Big feud between the Marvelous Ones and the Hardy Boys. So, for Eddie and Chris Candido in a brawl. It's basic story. You know, I like using that angle. I overuse it, probably, to be honest. But I look back at the time, there was a lot of that. So, I feel like now it would have been overused. I was booked in 2017, but in 2000, or 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. Pretty normal. Uh, Val Venus defeat D'Lo. Screw that. Ian C and Kurt Angle. Just continuing that friendship storyline. I'm trying to build that up. Kane defeats Abyss. I forget the story I'm behind that. And then The Rock. It doesn't matter who who be in Royal Rumble. God, my grammar is horrible. Because The Rock and his millions. You know, he doesn't look away. Just the fun with The Rock. A little bit of a 91, you know. For him, that's pretty low. Believe it or not, The Rock has been spectacular. He should be, I'm predicting by M2000 that he's going to be uh, part of the uh, Worker of the Year. And then, not, you know, 99, but maybe. He's in actually contention for that. And then, what's it called? Cactus Jack defeats Lance Storm, 10 show, because you remember. Triple H books the match. Just a good way for Cactus Jack to be on the show. Well, it was a mouthful for me. Woo! Sorry, I'm not nervous, but, you know, just trying to get this through my head and everything. So, this is the score of Nit or Raw vs. Nitro. Next episode, like I said, be your review. It's a fun, I made a little fun PowerPoint. All the, uh, what's it called? All the rewards from the game are in there. I put my favorite fuse on there. I gave hints on who to look out for. Along, like I said, with Eddie and Chris Candido. You know, I think next year's going to be a good year. Wrestle from 2000 to 2001. It's a lot of fun, but doing it this way, it's quicker. Because, like, right now, when I was doing this stuff, like WrestleMania, going to WrestleMania 16, I was looking to an invasion. I want to get to the invasion by the end of summer. And then when I get to the invasion, which will start... Around WrestleMania 17, maybe a little after, maybe a little before. Not going to give that away right now. We'll go back to the old format. I promise that. I think that format will be better. But I think you guys 
you should still watch because there's stuff to see now. And there's a lot of good feuds coming up. Like, we have Stone Cold and Vince McMahon finally maybe going to a clash. That's maybe where I might lead to. I'm not going to give that away. Maybe I had Big Show come in, you know, because that's what happened in your life. And if you've seen my upper, mid, my upper card, besides Eddie Guerrero and Chris Candida, I've been pretty, you know, realistic to real life. Which, I don't know how you guys feel about it, so if you would let me know if it bothers you or not. Just something I'm curious to think about. And, uh, reminds me, Billy Gunn will not return. Uh, that was in-game canon. I said then I'm going to stick with it. I'm sticking with it now. The funny part is, WCW signed him. And he's under the Mr. Ass moniker. So, Mr. Ass is on WCW TV, and, but he's dead. So... Now, you know, just so uh, if you've seen, uh, I'm sorry for a piece of gum, so I'm like, have like that speech impediment with gum. I don't know if you want to call it impediment. But, you know, so you're going to see Mr. Ass on Nitro appear every now and again. And I show the WCW pay-per-views when I notice them on the home screen. Alright, so that's it for this episode. A little bit of a longer one. Just trying to get used to the new format. And I'll see you guys next, because I'm recording the end of the year. Show next, and I'm thinking I'm release episode... You know, today's the 26th, then 27th, new episode, 28th, and then, actually, you know what, I might just re- release a bunch of episodes today, and every weekend there'll be a new episode, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have preference in days, I don't really know. You guys can always go back and watch it, it's not like you're in a hurry. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.